Hi folks, how are you doing? And welcome to my channel, which is called Claire Thackeray. Today's channeling is going to be channeling the heiress, Iris, heiress, Barbara Hutton. And I've not, the last time I did a channeling on here, it was Queen Elizabeth II, and that was weeks ago. Even though you guys watched it in September, that was filmed. Was it beginning of August? Something like that. So it's quite some time since I've sat down and done a, a, a TV channel in. So here we go. Even though this isn't TV, it's YouTube, but you can watch money TV. Um, Barbara first came to me quite some time ago. I was literally, you know when I write down my list of videos that I plan content and I felt her then and then she went. But at the same time that I felt her, a comment came through on a video, have you thought about channeling Barbara Hutton? And I was like, ooh, I thought that. Then the comment came in, so I thought, okay, at some point I'm going to be channeling Barbara Hutton. I then went on holiday on a cruise, and if you've been on a cruise, you know that it is food galore on a cruise. And I, this is going somewhere, I promise. I'd been on a diet for ages, lost quite a bit of weight, been doing gym and all that kind of stuff, went on a cruise and I was hit with everything. And I actually had a moment on this cruise where I thought, this is too much, I can't deal with this. Everything was just food, 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 food. And this food issue really came up to me. And I was sat, and I know where I was sat at the time, I was sat on the back, I think it's called something like Serenity, it's the retreat, it's the adult pool area. And I was sat there and I felt Barbara's energy come in. Now, Barbara Hutton was an anorexic, she had anorexia towards the end of her life. And the messages that she gave me, it wasn't the words that she said, it was the consciousness that she brought in. And in this consciousness was such wisdom around food. And it went from me feeling really overwhelmed to, okay, actually it doesn't matter that you're surrounded by all this food. And actually it doesn't matter if you have a ice cream or a burger or a slice of pizza, as long as you don't have it all on the same plate. It was basically about balance. She then also went on to say that everybody has an eating disorder. And I was like, really? She said, yes. There is an eating disorder within everyone. When we say eating disorder, first, the two words that come to mind straight away for everyone is anorexia or bulimia nervosa. She said, comfort eating is an eating disorder. Obesity is an eating disorder. You may starve yourself, but you may not be deemed. And we've all met this person that goes on a diet or, that in, or is on a long-term diet never really shifts it or shifts it a little bit, shifts it as in the weight, but they obsess over eating it. They'll talk about it. They'll ask questions about it. They'll talk about what other people are eating. And she talked about all these different aspects of eating disorders. And I was like, oh my God. So we all have this eating disorder within us and it comes out in different ways. And it has roots in different things, different traumas, different past lives, the generational stuff how we've been punished or taught about food. Has food been a reward? Has it been something that's been used as a punishment taken away from you? Um, and food has actually been a tool, I'm hearing, food has been a tool to wield such power for quite some time. Food has been a tool to wield such power for quite some time. And as she's saying this, she's showing me childhood. So let's go through some of them. If you don't eat your tea before you go to bed, you'll be having it for your breakfast in the morning. Okay. Um, if you don't eat your tea, you're not going out. You clear that plate or you're not going out. So the child knows that in order to have any kind of freedom, they have to get that plate of food down their gut or there's no playing out or they're going to have it cold or you have it cold for breakfast tomorrow. Um, if you're good, we'll take you to McDonald's. If you're bad, we won't take you to McDonald's. And these are th and there's loads of them. Let me know in the comments the ones that you've heard as well in your society. There's loads of these. And I'm not saying that everyone that says them knows the harm they're doing, but these plant seeds, um, 
they plant seeds that last a lifetime that can come out and grow in the right conditions the right conditions are the right conditions for an eating disorder not the right conditions as it's right to have a trauma i'm not saying that but the right conditions so say these seeds have been planted it will only take a trauma a small trauma a bad day at work a bad relationship She's saying an abortion. I don't know if she ever had an abortion, but she's saying the word abortion to me. The loss of miscarriage, the loss of anything, whatever it is for you. For this thing, this issue to come up, it could be that you go on your gobble and you gobble the fridge. It could be that you do a packet of Doritos. It could be that you do a full packet of Oreo biscuits. It could be that you munch your way through a galaxy Easter egg. It could be that you, you throw up to make yourself throw up. It could be that you starve yourself, but all of it is punishment. She's also saying, because I mean, she, I don't think in, in that incarnation as Barbara, she didn't do obesity, so she, she was the other end of the spectrum. But she's also saying that overeating is a form of self-harm, as is, so it's, it's self-harm as well. Because she said it goes against the natural order of things to gobble. I don't know if gobble was her word, because I don't think I'd use the word gobble. Anyway, to gobble things. She's almost like, she's, it's like an animal instinct. It's almost like this, and like, she's showing me like lions that tear flesh. We've seen, we've done this ourselves, where you start to eat something and you're just shoveling it in. Um, licking your fingers and it's the grease, the juices, and it's just like gobble, absorb, absorb, absorb. Anyway, so by the time she'd actually channeled some stuff to me, and it, I can't even put it into words what she said. It was very much like what I've just relayed. I got such balance to a point that then the food on the cruise ship didn't bother me. It was weird. It was one of the weirdest things I've ever had happen with spirit where I was like, that was it was weird in a bad way, but weird as if that was something else. And it was something that you, I, that would not come from me, that 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 information, it was just, and I found myself then walking around the ship going, actually, I don't want that because I know I would have wanted that. And I found myself studying them because they do buffets on, on the sh on ships like that. And they have free ice cream parlours as well. And I found myself going, actually, I can have any of this. But I don't need it and I don't want it. But I can have it. So maybe my wounding is not being able to have stuff. I don't know. I do know. Anyway. I then came back and thought, I'm going to channel her. Because I know that it's a problem for everyone. Eating is a problem for everyone. So I thought, I'm going to come back in the first world. This is the second week that I'm back. I'm, I'm not going to channel the first week I got back. Because I was too tired. But this week, I was like, I'm going to bang a, I'm going to bang a barber out. <laughs> um, so here we are. Right. So this bit, we go through this bit first. So Barbara Hutton, her date of birth. She, she was born on the 14th of November, 1912. In New York, 1912. That was also the year that the Titanic went down. So again, and you know, people trying to get from this side of the world, my side of the world, over to New York, America. You know, the, the tragedy of that, and the thing is, when you're born in an in an in a in a year, this is something that's coming in now. When you're born in a year, oh, right, okay. When you're born in a year where something big has happened, tragedy-wise. That has an effect on your consciousness. You come in, if you think about a country that or a, or a world, she's showing me the pandemic now that's under tension. That frequency is either in that country that's under that tension or the world that's under that. So you as a baby in the womb have some of that. That makes sense. Because she's now highlighting me, to, she's pointing to babies born in 2001 in the, especially around New York. So if you were born in 2001, around New York, she says the nearer you get to New York, the more you feel it. She said there could all, you may be struggling with anxiety. There'll also be other reasons why you're struggling with it. But one of the reasons is you were born around the time of the Twin Towers and that anxiety and that fear that collective room energy that goes off into the world or your country or the city, your parent absorbs it. <clears throat> no judgments to parents, we're doing it all the time. You know, like when there's a big death, you know, when JFK died, Diana died, Queen Elizabeth II died, John Lennon died. 
there's that heaviness that's there, that sadness, which that kind of thing. So she's coming in with that titanic heaviness, the energy of loss. And if you look at Barbara's life, Barbara's life was a, a lifetime of loss. Many husbands, eating disorders, um, death of a parent, increased wealth, loss of wealth, eating disorders, promiscue, promiscuous behaviour, um, divorce, death of a child. There was a lot of loss. So she came in on a, on a she's, saying, she's saying she came in on a cloud of loss. That's sad, isn't it? She came in on a cloud of loss. She died on the 11th of May, 1979. And I think from what I remember, she died at the Beverly Wiltshire Hotel. I'm going really icy cold at this point. So her numerology, I got it to 20. So success and balance, material world, being balanced, if even if it means accepting God's love. Now you may be thinking like, I was what? Barbara was anything but balanced. But this is very much like the Whitney energy where you can come in on a numerology like this and you're actually brought in on the opposite to try and learn balance, to try and bring yourself back to balance, to try and bring yourself back to equilibrium. We then got 20 turns into two. Moon planet, intuition, and listen to this, intuition and emotional imbalance. And what I also got for the intuition was feeling too much. So this is also someone that felt too much. Now, this is an interesting part because there's also another aspect to Barbara, which I've only just discovered in the past 60 minutes. And that was that there was a form of narcissism there. So how did she explain that? She said something cracking about that. Um, something like the narcissism was there but, it root, but its root was in the pain, or it was led, it started with the pain. So whatever the pain was, and I think this is, I mean, this is childhood abandonment, I'm hearing. Childhood neglect, I'm hearing. And you may say, well, she was a rich girl, emotional neglect, spiritual neglect, nurturing neglect, got life guidance neglect, life skills neglect. You have, they were rich people. They, they passed the, you got handed straight over to nannies. And th there's a clip that I've just watched. Well, I just watched a little clip of it. And it was the um, poor little rich girl where she, her dad's just bought a house. <laughs> and it's like, it might be an apartment block. He's in the apartment next door with his new wife or his new woman. And Barbara is a little, she's about six years old. She's in the apartment next door. And this is like really high ceiling, rich, opulent. And she's like, Daddy, are we not going to live together? And he's like, we are living together. I'm in the apartment next door. You're in here. What more do you want? And it's, and she, and it's almost like there's this huge room where this six-year-old girl is, it's her apartment. You see what I mean? So yeah, she, you can be just, she's saying you can be just as neglected as a poor child as you are a rich child and vice versa just because you're rich doesn't mean to say you can't be neglected we look at rich children and think oh must be lucky but actually the, there's huge amounts of neglect <coughs> so i've discussed how she came to me on holiday and what she said about eating and body image so i can put that down now yay so let me show you barbara hutton before we go any further was she a self-harmer? And I'm only asking that because I've just picked up my tablet and some scissors have just literally flipped onto my altar that I've got here. Was there an element of self-harm? Got always there somebody in her life that was a self-harmer? Um, something with scissors. Cutting the cords to the past. Who knows? Anyway, let me show you Barbara Hutton. I'm still really cold. Um... Barbara Hutton. She was beautiful, actually. Really beautiful. Okay. Young Barbara Hutton. Do you see what I mean now about the, um, the personality? Um, and I think it's almost like the... I want to say the older she got, the colder she got. So... 
I was like, we're going to have this really, really deep conversation about eating disorders on this video. I then started to set up my altar. And I got this other, I was shown the other side of Barbara. And it was like, ooh, wow. And usually when I'm doing an altar thing, there's crystals, there's candles, there's an ornament. It's, but this one was just cards and the usual crystals that I put on top of cards, which is clear quartz. And I was shown, and I went really tired, really, really tired. And I was like, God, what is this? And what I heard was, she said, I was exhausted, as in I, as in Barbara, was an energy vampire, a narcissist. And she showed me the other aspect of her. Um, I then got guided to watch, I think it was a two minute clip of her going on, was she going on honeymoon with someone? She'd broken her leg or her ankle and she was sat with all the press around her. The first clip she showed me, she was young and she still had that, what I call the Instagram. You know, a lot of the young women are doing it now with Instagram. They're very, it's all very superficial. She was sat on this, I think it was a boat, a cruise. Did she used to cruise? I've said that twice now. I need to, sorry, I need to Google this because she came into me on a cruise. Um, did she go on cruises? Barbara Hutton, cruise, did ships, I don't know. What's, what would she call it? Cruise ship, that's it. The Lady Hutton. She can't make it up. The Lady Hutton, Woolworth Harris. I can't say Harris, Harris, that's it, Claire. Hold up for that. Woolworth heiress, Barbara Hutton received the vessel in 19... Fuck, I didn't even realise that glass was wearing. Received the vessel in 1930 as a present from her father on her 18th birthday. The... See what I mean? The yacht was named in Hutton's honour. <laughs> she did go cruising. She had her own bloody boat. She did go cruising. And she came in on a <coughs> Excuse me, if you're new to my channel, back end of a very nasty cold. What I just clicked on. What I just clicked on. That's weird. She's also been, oh, yes, yeah, she did. RMS Queen Mary. I've been on the Queen Mary 2, not the Queen Mary 1. And I literally just pressed on that. So this was someone that liked to cruise, <laughs> that connected with me. You see, you can't make it up, that connected with me on a cruise ship. Um, I wonder if she must have been, I wonder if, I, oh, I won't know what day it was, but she will have probably been around those seas that I said, so yeah. There you go. So anyway, the first clip I saw she was on a cruise ship or her boat, whatever it was, yacht. Then the second one, I think she was on some type of a boat. I don't know, it don't matter. And she'd married somebody and she'd got, she'd broken her bone, she'd broken her ankle and I think she was in trouble with the press or public because she was going on a private um, plane or something. And she was sat there like that, and broke my leg. But apparently she was also hypochondriac. And it was, and, I, and the doctor said I couldn't possibly fly on a on a standard airline. I had to have my own private jet. And I watched it and it was like, yeah, so that's obviously proof of that part of the personality. Um, the narcissism and the fact that what she became and how that would have been draining the older she got. Because the thing is, when they're young and they're beautiful, they can get away with a multitude of sins. It looks sexy, it looks different, they look rebellious. But then as they get older, things change. And it, what was fun in their 20s and 30s when you first meet them doesn't seem so fun. I then asked her to give, whenever I do a channeling with anyone, I always ask them to give me a card between me and them. I always share on camera anyway. And she gave me this card, which is, embrace your shadow, light and dark. Dark, in inverted commas, no, in whatever it is, that thing. Um, embrace your shadow. Embrace your shadow. And this is from the Practical Magic deck by Serene Connolly. 
So embrace your shadow. Where are we going to go next with this bag? Because we've got some questions. I'm going to go through the, I'm just going to open my tablet up and get some of these questions. I'm going to jump into the questions. Or shall I jump into the questions or shall we do some cards first? <clears throat> She's showing me women of today, predominantly women of today, but it's also affecting male. And she's saying something like, it's happening again. It's happening. What's happening again? She's saying it's the little rich girls. It's, she's showing me with girls, women that are brought up with rich parents. And she said, it's like a society where nurturing, mothering, caring family fun is extinct and it's been replaced by money and and now she's like pointing to so she's a very pointer she's very thin well, obviously she's gonna be very thin but she's pointing to it's almost like there's a, a bloody tablet flying about around her and she's pointing to it and she's saying that that's to blame as well it's almost like it's breeding this whole breed of narcissism in young women. She's talking about women. She's not she's talking about men as well. It's more predominantly women. We know, I know it's happening with men as well. Um, but she's saying the thing, she said, ah. <laughs> but the thing is, Claire, that women are the nurturers. They're meant to be the nurturers. They're meant to be the birthers and the creators. She said, but when you're getting birthers and creators that have narcissistic tendencies, they then can only create chaos, pain and despair. That's the difference between it with a female and a male, even though neither are clever or funny. She said it's becoming vitrolic and she said she was vitrolic as well. She said and it's when you're watching it from heaven, when you're watching it from the other side and you're looking down on it, it's almost like, oh my God, what are they doing? Because she's saying, I, I, as in Barbara, no, no, what is coming for them because it will affect their sex life, it will affect their relationships, it's affecting what they're eating, it's affecting their careers. She's saying nobody's learned, nobody's learned about this. I'm just gonna have a go, girl. She's just she's showing she's showing me Meghan Markle. I don't know why. No idea why. She's also showing me Amber Heard. But when she showed me Amber Heard, now I know there's it's the pictures of Amber Heard. Like, let me just give me a minute. If you've been watching my channels a while, you know you'll spend some time on Google. Amber Heard. I'll be looking at an incarnation here. You on the herd. For those of you who don't know who Amber Heard is, some people don't, some people don't. Amber Heard is this lady here. She's the ex-wife of Johnny Depp. No, was it Johnny Depp? Yeah, it was Johnny Depp, wasn't it? Very similar in looks. I mean, look at that. Put that in your brain. Remember that. Remember, 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 5th of November. Guy Fox is getting channeled soon, by the way. So here we go, Amber Heard, look at that. Right, log it. Barbara Hutton, log it. Right. Where are we? So much googling now, it's unbelievable. I want to Google and I can't because I'm filming, I'll do it afterwards. So let me let me just tune into this properly. Okay, yeah. It's an image of her actually, isn't she? If you gave Amber Heard that style. Uh, 
So, she did marry a d d detective. Did she? I don't know. Um, she married an Amer She married an, an. Oh God, sorry. She married somebody called Cary Grant, didn't she? Let me. Let me. Sorry, just let me get my head around this because I wasn't expecting this to come up. So Cary Grant. I'm sure one of you said she married Cary Grant. Anyway. Yeah, so she's, did she? Yeah. So she has been in within the, you know, move. Are you, um, are you now Amber? Is there another written, have you got an incarnation as Amber Heard? It's almost like a very slow nod of the head. Showing me Amber with her daughter, obviously Amber's daughter. What do you want to say about this then, this lifetime of Amber Heard? Put that card back in. Give me a card, give me a card. Balance, take action, connect with the land, custodian. She's chosen some odd cards as well, because when I channel people, I let them choose the cards. And I think that they're not, they're actually really beautiful cards, but they're kind of odd as well. For, oops. True voice, communicating with your truth. We know I'm doing a lot of that. Composting. Decomposing energetic cords. This is a big one, isn't it? This. <laughs> We're just going to channel Barbara Hutton to talk a bit about anorexia, pull some cards, ask some questions, and move on. Oh no, you don't, Claire. Get used to it. Take action. True voice. Is there another card that goes with this? I feel there is another card that needs to go with this. Maybe this is why she's actually coming. As, as Amber had issues. I don't know. If on. All I know about Amber Heard is that she was married to Johnny Depp. There was a big shit show. Um, and she's a possible narc. Comfrey. Completion. Purpose. Is there another card? Yes, there is. Let's do it. Don't let pride get in your way. Nothing will come of this situation. So, tuning back into Barbara. Um, is that not more pain coming into you? Having that lifetime as why did you, why is it obviously, there's obviously patterns repeating with that lifetime. It's so I can understand where it comes from. The lifetime of Amber Heard, it's almost like it's gonna force her, the soul that is Amber Heard, that was, um, they said Doris Day then, who knows? Barbara Hutton has to face it in that lifetime as Amber Heard on the world stage, but, She's saying at the higher level as well, it's also highlighting that. And maybe as well, she's saying Anne Boleyn's doing the same. Oh, here we go again. Anne Boleyn is now Meghan Markle. To, because of this disease that is amongst women, that is amongst the, this, 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 it's a disease within the divine feminine. Not a physical disease. But it's almost like an energetic bacteria. She's showing like an energetic bacteria that's got into the divine feminine flow, the divine feminine energy. That it needs to be put in our face so we can see it. She said the girl next door is not going to be able to put it in your face. She will do if she pisses you off. 
but somebody on the world stage is going to put it into your face so you can see it so people talk about it people face it people that have been victims of it people that are it because we know narcissism is within everyone and now Claire's regretting picking 500 cards to describe the situation with Amber Heard. Don't let pride. So take action, Valiance. It's about coming back down, having to face that. And having to face that chaos, that mess. Then the next one was completion, which again is completion. We've got the card of cutting cords. And don't let pride get in your way. But the thing is, when you look at Amber Heard, she doesn't look like she's, excuse me, learning anything. But she says, you humans try to make things way too simple. And you're trying to put things into understandable boxes, she said, and actually a lot of it is under, not understandable. Um, I want to just Google, Google that, I'm prepared to stop Googling. Um, She said it's not just about the narcissism with Amber Heard, it's about her whole life, the public divorce, the public cases. I need to go, was Amber, because I just don't know anything about Amber Heard and it's doing my head in now. Hey, if you were a proper psychic, you wouldn't need to go, go should. To that comment that wants to come in at that point. I want to get my head around Amber Heard, I wasn't expecting Amber Heard to come in at this point. <clears throat> She's been in a lot of stuff, hasn't she? I don't, so I don't watch films. She's not a lot of films anyway. Married, yes, yeah, she married actor Johnny Depp until their dissolution of the marriage in 2016. They have since accused each other of domestic abuse and engaged in two lengthy high profile defamation cases. Early life, this is what I want. Heard was born in Texas, the middle child of three daughters, internet researcher Patricia Page and the construction company owner David Clinton Heard. The family lived outside us. Yeah, she also participated in beauty pageants. And it's all about her acting. She's been in a lot, hasn't she? So, let's have a look. I'm going to pull a camera and ask a simple question using this deck here, which is the herbal astrology. Why did you, what are you meant to learn from the, what are you meant to learn from the incarnation as Barbara Hutton? And then we'll ask the same for the one as Amber Heard. One, th one thing, what were you meant to learn as the incarnation of Barbara Hutton? Grace. So the card of grace has come out. She was meant to learn grace sensuality what are you then meant to learn as the lifetime of amber heard what are you then meant to learn as the lifetime of amber heard detachment cannabis detachment it's drug use in the it probably was um harmony and detachment <sighs> harmony and detachment This feels really big, does this? It feels like a, I'm actually glad I didn't know any of this because I probably would have. I'm going to now. I'm not doing that until three weeks time or four weeks time. Detachment to and harmony. 
to understand what real love is, to understand what it is to be detached. But it, what? Honestly, this is complex to understand what real love is, to understand what detachment is, to understand what real love is, to understand what detachment is. And this deck. What were you meant to learn as Barbara Hutton? What were you meant to learn as Barbara Hutton? Jude, transforming addictive thinking. What were you meant to learn as Amber Heard? Communicating with your truth. Belonging, healing in community. She didn't pick a tarot deck. I knew I'd need one, but I did say if she did need a tarot deck. I'm going to use Golden Art. I know that's not the one she liked, Golden Art Nivu. I want to just do some tarot on this. So. She's saying, the lifetime as Amber, and I remember this, I talk like that because it was 100 years ago, because it wasn't, it was only what last year, I don't know. Team Johnny, Team Amber, everyone was in teams again. You know, Team Sussex, Team Cambridge, well, Wales now. What she's saying is it's actually what it was meant to be showing us, the mess that we can both get into as a woman and as a man. But what happened was people went into separation. It's all her or it's all him. And she's saying actually it was a hot mess from both sides. It was a hot mess from both sides. And it has its connections in other past lives that they've had together. Um, transforming addictive thinking. That's powerful, isn't it? Transforming addictive thinking. Addictive thinking is the poor me energy it's the narcissistic energy so it's the world revolving around you energy so you have a lifetime as you're put into an awful situation you develop this personality trait out of need want abandonment because that's what they say about narcissism it's got its basis in trauma they're always traumatized when they're a narcissist um then you come into another incarnation where there's similar stories similar themes but this time it's right in your face, this time, the narcissism. It's not just in your face, but it's in the world's face. It's in society's face. And you're put into that life to try to rectify it, to try and understand it, to try and react better. But what happens is we start to spiral and loop and it just, you carry on. But you don't just, you go from Barbara Hutton, who people liked, you know, to Amber. It's like, when are you going to stop and actually see the damage that you're doing to yourself and your soul? So it's about stopping that addictive thinking, communicating with your truth. Oh, belonging in community. So there's this punishment as well of not wanting to belong in a community. Painful, which I'm feeling quite pained, not physically pained, but emotional pain of the, the, the trauma that the, not the soul can cause. Yeah, we don't want to, no, 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 Claire. Soul is just light, soul is just, it's the perfect part of us. What if the soul? Is all, the soul can also be damaged. Lost souls, tormented souls. And these is souls. We, you know, yes, there'll be a higher self, 
at play. A higher, your higher self is the version of you that's worked through all your lifetimes, that's got to where it needs to be, and is now saying, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And people say, that doesn't make sense. How can you have worked all through all your lifetimes? And you're saying, come on, come on, come on, come on, to, to us. But time is not what we think it is on this earth and play. It's very different. That's why you're here in physical form, but you can have other all, an incarnation going on at the same time. And you can have the, the ask the ghost. You know when I'm closing, you know, in my shamanic healing, where I, I say to people, my clients, I've closed this lifetime down. I've sent the ghost of you in that lifetime over to the other side. So there's many ghosts of us at this time. So there's the ghost of Barbara Hutton, but there's also the physical presence of the physical body of Amber Heard with that soul essence in it. So yeah, she's saying that we need to understand that soul essence can actually be really damaged. I'm so in my soul, I'm painful in my soul. She's saying that soul can become warped. She said we're not looking, oh it's coming now. <laughs> You're saying that souls, if we don't nurture our soul, it becomes warped. She said a baby comes to the earth, it's pure. It's a beautiful, bouncy baby. It's obviously not bouncy because it's laid out and it's... It... <laughs> but then life, it distorts it. And it's the same with the soul. We're not nurturing our soul. I've just been on a cruise. Oh, you stop saying, saying that to people. I know, but anyway, where's my phone? Oh, it's on charge. Anyway, pretend this is my phone. We went on a boat trip, and I shit you not, there was four of them sat in front of us. They what what um, Ray Bans? They had a pair of fake Ray Ban glasses, fake. And at first, I didn't realise what they were doing. They were passing them down, and each one of them was getting up on the on the ship like this. So they went on a boat trip, and they're like that. Right, and they're putting the ray bands on. And I looked at these four people, and there was one of them was to be in the mother, and she had that right energy, oh, you know, and it's all, oh, can't you know, let them do what they want? And they were just ruining the view for people. You couldn't take pictures. I really struggled to film my struggle because they were in your face as well. It was all about them, and. It's almost like that's not good for your soul. And I remember say, I actually said to Gary, I think I got a little bit vocal on that part actually. Dear, shocking. Um, and I was like, you know, you've come on a boat trip. And I said, I think I said it a bit too well. I said it loud enough. And all you can do is that. And it's like your soul wants to revisit history. Your soul wants to take in this Scottish history. It was seen the Loch Ness Monster. Um, your soul wants to see the trees, the water, the energy. Your soul wants to relax. Your soul wants to, but we're warping it. People can have warped souls. Don't run away with the thing that... And, and this once came up in a, in, a, in a reading I did of Diana and somebody says, well, she, she, she's died now, shouldn't she be at peace? Because I think she was a bit triggered with Harry and Meghan. And it's like, what do you think happens when you die? Do you think you just go and sit on a cloud? Do you not know that when you die, you've got to have a big assessment with your guides? That there's, there's a reason why there's a holding space when you go over there. Because actually, we're so fucked up. That actually, by the time we go over to that frequency, we, in a lot of cases, we can't handle it. Because we've done so much, we've said so much, we've not got so much. And it's almost like this is what I'm feeling, that then you come back and you, you bloody Amber Heard or you Meghan Markle. I mean, Anne Boleyn wasn't probably at that tendency as well. Um, to do what she did, you, to, 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 to be the person that Anne Boleyn was, you weren't going to be love and light, were you? And I know the women, the men at the time ruled that show, but she... she, she 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 puppet mastered it as well. She didn't she didn't she wasn't kicking and screaming. She didn't do a Mary Bullen and do one. She she went to be queen. All right. So if I'm gonna get forced to be with you, okay. I'm not gonna be a mistress, mate. I'm gonna be a queen. Get rid of that. That's narcissistic. So when people say, well, how can Megan? How can Anne be Megan? You what? You bet your boots. Anne Bullen can be Megan Markle. I mean, I'm more shocked if she wasn't. Um, Oh, I'm enjoying this. Where are we going next with this? I've got some tarot out for a reason. Oh, it's very... So, 
So, could I have some cards, please, from you, Barbara? Three cards. Burden. Many people, including myself at times in this present incarnation, are going through horrible things. Horrible things, of which I'm not going to list them all and give people anxiety attacks. But horrible things, difficult things, traumatic things. And it's a burden that we're carrying because we're carrying it from soul after soul, not soul after soul, lifetime after lifetime after lifetime. Our soul is, that word again, soul, is carrying it. But we're not going to put that burden down. You know, Amber Heard doesn't want to put that burden down. Megan's not going to put that burden down. I didn't want to put that burden down. You may not want to put that burden down. How we think about situations, how we act in situations, what we say, what we do, what we don't do, what we don't say. And we're just polishing ourselves but fundamentally we're damaging our soul and the soul is energy so it comes back into incarnation and boom here we go again so the next card is the card of the chariot when are we going to move away from this damage that we're doing when are we going to really listen to what that soul the real true aspect of ourselves and really listen to what it really wants the soul and bring an end to this and actually find inner peace. It has to stop. She's saying humanity is going to kill itself if it doesn't stop. Um, she's saying that there's going to be more suicides. And I'm not saying that everyone calls themselves as that personality. They don't. But this despondency with life that Barbara had. She was slim. She was beautiful. She had money. Every man wanted to be with her, etc, etc. But she just... Oh. It was just trauma and pain and self-sabotage. And it's the same with Amber Heard. Slim, attractive, gifted. She's a good actress. You know, she married one of the top men in Hollywood. And yet, ugh. Was, ugh. She even did that. What was that? My dog stepped on a bait. That kind of thing. Um, God. <laughs> it's We've got to stop it. We've got to put this down. And there's no point pointing the fingers at these people going, they're an act. I get this all the time, not to me obviously, but to people in comments about when I do about Megan, it's a shit show in the comment section when we do about, honestly, you just, you put a video out and you're like, oh God, oh God, oh God, and it comes in. And I'd like to say it's not the followers, it's people from external, but the vitriol, and I'm, you know, if I went and did a video about Amber, the vitriol that comes out, and I get that people are angry and hurting, but that's not going to stop it because every time we do that we affect our soul soul fragmentation Oof, it fragments what would you do if you got this rose quartz crystal and went bang on the floor Oof, it'd shatter what would you do if you picked up this cup here with Howarth on it and just went bang on the floor Oof, it'd scatter then she's saying, then you'd get the pieces, but they're sharp. And oh my God, I like that analogy. So the soul is the cup. Life and we, with the soul go, woof, and we slam it down. Inner child trauma, trauma stuff we've done ourselves, things we've said, done, things people have said to, and done to us. So we get the soul and it goes, woof, and we draw it and it scatters. And then you pick up all the fragments of the pot and they're all sharp and you're cutting yourself up and it, oh God, and you don't know what to do with it. Oh, we're going to put this together. God, I can't, I'm overwhelmed. God, I've lost some pieces. God, there's some of the cup. I can't find some of the cup. Where has it gone? Oh my God. That's where you get someone like me that comes in and gets your shell fragments, by the way. But, and then you're left with all these, oh, it's too sharp. I can't even hold it. It's, pretty, it's, cut, it's, ble it's cutting me. It's bleeding. That's what happens. And then it <laughs> into your next incarnation with those actual sounds, and then it starts again. It starts again that pain, that so it's about never ever do a channeling and think it's going to be Barbara Hutton. She was just the Woolworths heiress, you know. Hmm. Okay, so when are we going to put the burden down? When are we going to put the burden down? 
Ooh. Is it possible for people to find peace? Three cards, is it possible for people to find peace? There's too much of this, she's saying. And this is her as well, as Barbara and as Amber. So she's not saying, look at me, I'm perfect. She's not. She's saying there is too much of this. Oh, I can't do it. I'm overwhelmed, I can't cope with it. At the minute, we all think our happiness belongs to somebody else. It's them that are making me unhappy. It's what they're doing to us that are making me unhappy. And, and actually, for so, in some situations, and especially I think for her, especially towards the end, it's that dying swan energy. And yeah, like I said, when you're young, it looks funny and she's just a bit needy. But then when she's older and everything's a drama, everything's a drama. Oh, I feel faint. And it's all, it's all because you've not dealt with it when you're younger and it's out of control. It's this, I'm a victim of, I'm a victim. I'm a victim of this, I'm a victim of that. And it's about having to face that energy before you get your next incarnation, you come back as I'm heard. Not that you are gonna come back as I'm heard. It's also about the inner child. There's so much inner child torment at the minute. See how I said torment and not wounding? Inner child torment. Things that have been said, things that haven't been said, things that have been done, Things that haven't been done, inner child torment. We have to go within, but we're scared to go within. We don't want to go within. It's scary. It takes time and work. Healing, real healing, by the way, takes pure dedication. Pure dedication. And it takes a lot of dark night of the soul, but it's overwhelming. And that's where we are now. It's like we want to, but do we want to? No, because actually it's easy for me to sit here and actually say they're an arc and I'm going to follow that story instead and I'm going to follow everything that's happening because whilst ever I'm following that story, I don't have to look at my own issues. So I'm going to lose myself in the latest intel on social media or the latest intel in the news because whilst ever I'm focused on that, I don't have to look in that closet that is creaking behind me. Oh, I'm enjoying this. Right up my street is this channel in. <clears throat> oh, let's see where we're going next. Amber, will she find happiness in the present incarnation as Amber heard? I got the word distortion. Three of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and the Judgment. She does, but she finds it when it's too late to do anything about it. And I wonder if it's this moment of near to death, or at the moment of death, where she realizes something clicks and it's almost like it's too late because time's running out um but look at i can't i can't actually show you it because you don't have to put naked pictures on youtube but it's a woman in a coffin and it, she's like that and it's almost like this it i don't think she will i don't think she will It's almost like now Barbara's showing me, then Amber goes over to the other side and then she becomes one of the ghosts that's then watching her soul evolve. Um, right. Guidance for those. Guidance for those that feel like you did yourself overwhelmed with trauma and pain and what guidance to keep it as simple as possible. Can we keep it as simple as possible? What guidance do we have for people under so much emotional and physical pain at this time? Temperance and balance.
it's almost like we want to we want to queen of wands we want to do it yeah i'm gonna do it 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 i can't do it i can't i can't i can't there's too much and i'm too busy i can't do that i can't go for counseling i've got to pick my kids up after school i can't go for reiki because i'm too busy i can't i can't go to retreat because i look after my mum i can't i can't i can't i can't i can't we've got to stop saying i can't i can't i can't and it's almost like if we don't it's just going to get harder and harder and harder it's almost like she's also saying if we don't we're going to get swamped we're going to get swamped in that illusion and delusion energy that I don't even know who I am what I am I'm fragmented I've no idea I can't cope anymore See, it's one of the reasons why the world is as it is now, because people are being forced to face this stuff. Because as a species, we can't go on any longer like this. We have to really decide what we want. It's interesting what she showed me then. I'm trying to put it, I'm going to try and put it into words. It's almost like for some souls it becomes just too much. And it's almost like the soul essence goes back to source. But she showed me it like going back to like to stone, not to stone, but to planet, to but it's not a case of oh 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 okay, so if I don't heal and I don't do any of the work and I don't do any of that, I'll just go back home anyway. Oh that's fine, it's not that, it's not that. It's almost like it becomes a holding state. Is it a holding station? Because she's saying it's causing too much pain on the earth. It's not hell, it's not that. It's a whole, it's a place where they're gonna have to go. These souls, these, this energy, the soul fragment until it sorts itself out. She said, the thing is many people go to this place anyway, but she said it's like critical mass right now on the earth where She's showing me in the terms of a hospital. So you go to hospital and you go on a ward. You go to a, an outpatient clinic. Or you could go and have an overnight on a ward or a few days on a ward. Or you go into intensive care. So this is like a hospital, soul hospital, where throughout the time we're going outpatients, we're talking to our guides, we're meditating. That's all the outpatient stuff. Then there's the hospital stuff where we have the breakdowns and we maybe become ill. And we go to the energetic hospitals as well. And when you pass over, you go to the energetic hospital. And then there's the, a, then there's the, what's it called? I said it earlier. What's it called? Eye dependency units. They're high, it's like energetic eye dependency units, intensive care. Who did I channel that showed me that they went to one of these units? Was it Jimmy Sa it was Jimmy Savile, wasn't it? And I think at the time I was like, showing me that he's in this like this intensive care unit. It's almost like when he died, he was like zonked. And he was just like whoop, zonked still. Take him out of it. Now just rest him. Um yeah, makes sense that. I think Whitney was one was was Whitney one as well. I think Whitney was Whitney Houston. I'm sure it was Whitney Houston as well. I know it was definitely because I'm sure. Oh, it's interesting stuff. But it's complex stuff as well. Right, Whew. What time are we on? I don't know, an hour. That's flown, by the way, and we ain't even got into the questions yet. But I'm going to get into the questions now. So. Let me go to some questions I got on YouTube for Barbara. I feel Barbara could be, I'll say it again, one of those people that we can channel and channel and channel and channel, that by the time we finish this, we're gonna want more. Right, so I'm going to my community tab now and down to the questions. Wait. We've, I think we've already answered that. What were her greatest life lessons in her soul's journey as Barbara Hutton? 
any other incarnation she'd like to share. She well, she's Amber Heard. Um, what's your what's your big what's your biggest lie? Let's pull a card for that. What were your greatest life lessons as your soul journey as Barbara Hutton? What was your greatest life lesson? Milk thistle, powerful, peaceful warrior. Peaceful warrior. Foresight. Peaceful warrior and foresight. Peaceful warrior and foresight. I keep saying it, Claire, stop making it easier. Um, It's the divine feminine wounding. It's been shown an experience in a life that is so far removed from the divine feminine energy way of life. And it comes in to try and teach you to come back home to yourself. And then you come back in. We shall have other incarnations as well as Amber Heard. There'll be stuff that we can't even see. Um, and then it starts again. She said, the thing is, we stop listening to our soul as well because the soul's got all the encryption in it. It's got all the shape records in it. And if only we listened to it, if Amber really sat and listened to what her soul said, the answers are there. Same with me and you. Um, if Barbara had listened to what the soul wanted to say, she'd have got the answers. So I'm conscious of time going on, so I don't want people to miss out. <clears throat> I would be curious as to how the upper class viewed the depression. I would be curious as to how the upper class viewed the depression, the financial depression. How did their day-to-day -day life change due to economic factors? or if they were even affected by the depression. When I was reading that, I got shown a picture in my mind's eye of lots of rich people standing on each other. And it just feels as though they looked after their own interests. It's like there was no sense of community. It was every man for his himself, himself, his self. It and the repercussions of that are still felt today in certain circles. She's showing me rich companies that laid off workers to save money for themselves. She said that I mean I don't know anything about I'm not a big in, I'm into financial history, but she's showing me that. A lot of those decisions that were made then of cutting back in certain areas, a lot of the standards of service were affected. That's when the that's when the downfall started. <clears throat> I would like to ask why did she go from man to man? She seemed never to stop and think about not being with a man. What drove her to do this? So why did you go from man to man? Why did you go from man to man? I'm seeing many different reasons needing to be loved, but also needing to use. It's almost like this adulation that she got from men, from sex, from all of that, filled what she thought were the whole she had holes in her life in her emotional life from childhood that needed wholesome nurturing and as an adult woman the way to fill those holes in her eyes was adulation and men and affairs and i mean marriages um and it's almost like Their faces are all moulded into one, apart from one man that actually stands out. So in all those people that she married, had affairs with, etc., there's one man that stands out. 
But I'm hearing even he wasn't good enough. Nobody was good enough. There was an emptiness there that couldn't be filled by a man. And how many women are in this situation, and men, are in this situation today where they go from relationship to relationship because they're looking for that fulfilment. And the fulfilment that they're looking for has to actually come from themselves and the inner child stuff rather than the next best relationship. Should we pull a card on that? So let me re-ask the question. I would like to ask, why did she go from man to man? Why did you go to man from man? Why did you go to man from man? Man from, from man? Why did you go to man from man? Why did you go to man to man? A new moon, a new start is coming. She got bored. There's a boredom energy there as well. The freshness and newness of a new relationship. The excitement, the spontaneity, the dating, the dressing up, all of that. But look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius at the bottom, looking at the bigger picture. It was all very fickle. It was all very fickle. Whoops, lost the comments, where are they? There was a comment that came in, money doesn't bring happiness, who did you really love? I've actually done a, a video this week on money and the fact that it's not money that doesn't bring happiness, it's humans that don't bring happiness. It's what more humans do with money. Um, and who did you really love? I, when I saw that, I was like, am I going to read that out on camera? But... Let's see if she wants to answer it. Who did you really love? Let me pull a tarot. Who did you... It's just gone blank as that. Who did you really love? She didn't. She didn't. She, she, and that's one of the things I was picking up and it just went really blank. She didn't. Three of Cups. It's... Was all it was all a game the emperor it was all a game she couldn't love because the, the the bit within you that helps you to love was not there it was damaged so you know you can have five marriages doesn't mean to say you 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 know what love is in fact in fact she did show me prince charles the when you know when they asked him about diana do you know you in love sir Whoa, whatever in love really means and that's something along those lines it's almost like incapable of seeing no there was no love that was the thing oops so there we go any more um nope that's it now um i've got your marriage to carry grant and lots of question marks but i don't know what those questions are your marriage to carry grant um Oh, no, there is one. Is is BH with her only child, Lance? she with her only child, Lance? No. It just feels... For all the talking to her, she doesn't feel sinister or anything like that. There's a coldness there. And there's no maternal instinct. She's saying not only can our soul fragment... She said, but soul groups can fragment as well. Well, you come together as a lifetime and then you you pass over, die, and roof, and you all go off on your own. She said some soul tribes, you know, you have, it's almost like they just, oh, what's the film now? Where they're all getting pulled apart, they're all putting their arms out to, what is the film? It's like a hurricane energy, isn't it? And it's almost like they all can't reconnect because they're just, it's almost like this whirlwind needs to stop. 
and you're married to Cary Grant. Let's pull a card on that. You're married to Cary Grant. Judgment. Hmm. Itchy nails. Again, you know when I read on Harry and Meghan and we don't really get any couple cards. You never get any couple cards. You get love bombing, which is what they're doing now, playing that game, but you never get the couple cards, the important cards. It's the same with this one as well. It's been the same throughout all of this. There's been no two of cups or the lovers. Again, high priestess can actually be my card of narcissism as well because a high priestess, it depends how she uses her intuition. It's that, it's me, it's me. <laughs> It's me and the scrappings, the what's it called? Each of those, six of pentacles. The scrappings of somebody else's play. It's not wholesome. It's bright lights and whoo. It's for the world stage. It's all very stagey and fickle and it doesn't run, doesn't feel like a relationship that runs. I know nothing about that marriage. It doesn't feel like a relationship that runs deep. It's it's almost like she showed me in like the loop. It was just another loop. It was another loop within the loops within the loops within the loops. And I think I've covered all of those questions. So, hmm. Where else are we going? What time are we on now? 11, 11. I would have finished talking about her relationships at 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. I know we've moved on now the time I'm talking about it, but I will have finished that. Um, anyway, moving on, Barbara. Have you got anything else to say? She's showing me people losing money, but they're losing money because the money is causing them to have distractions. This is, I wonder if this, this could be the elite, you know. This came up, was it in Posh and Bex? And honestly, right, the comments, people went into fear with what I said. I said, there's a financial crash coming and people just went into fear over it. And I was like, Oh, you've got, you've got to do a video. You've got to do another video on this. I don't have time to do another video. But I'm wondering if it, I'm tuning into it now. Because obviously she was a rich woman. She was an heiress in her lifetime. What is this about losing money? Is there a financial crash coming? Yes. The new earth energy wanting to come in, the new frequencies of the earth that comes in. The fight against that, people not wanting to face it, do the work, heal, look at their stuff. Corporations not wanting to look at their stuff. The exhaustion of it, as I'm doing this video, we're in the middle of another geomagnetic storm. It's people trying to hold on to the old as the new comes in. King of Swords, people going into their toxic masculinity energy. People going into the, a bit like the depression. The truths coming up, truths of situations coming up, truths of people's lives coming up. But this out in the cold energy. So let me have a clarifier for this out in the cold energy. Little emotional Knight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, sorry. Hmm. 
there's something between the she's showing something between the old and the new as in older people and the young and it almost feels like it's the younger people that are going to have to pick up the chalice they're going to have to pick up the mess of their forefathers Boundaries, the Tower, the Ace of Cups, the Boundaries, the Tower, the Ace of Cups that wants to come through. They're interesting cards that I've got here. So I'm going to give you all of these cards. So there's going to be a period, I think we're already in it, to be, I think we're already in this financial crash. I mean, for God's sake, there's people going, you know, what is it, what's it called, um, going into liquidation all the time, businesses. So it's oh, we're already in it. We're already in it. It's going to be messy. It's going to be emotional. There's going to be people doing what they did in the Depression, standing on each other. It's going to be down to the next generation to pave the way. And this is why I said, do not go into fear. Do not go into fear with any of this. Because once the storm has gone... And once people have recovered and focused and realised what they want from life, then the Ace of Cups can come in with something new. So the Ace of Wands comes in and it's like, woof, and this energy comes in, it's like, wow. And then the cup, the Love Cup comes in. Then people start to rebuild, but rebuild in the right way. Successes, new successes, new entrepreneurs it's already happening now small businesses people the community's opening back up again it comes full circle we can then look to the future and plan we've got rid of a lot of our skeletons in the closet we've got rid of a lot of global skeletons in the closet we're reaching enlightenment we're reaching wisdom we're tapping back into enlightenment and wisdom and therefore we can take the chariot and move forward. When will this be? I always get the next hundred years in a lot of these questions. I'd say it was over the next hundred years. Um, I wonder if it's from 2020 to what would it be? Oh God, this is where you find out that Claire is shit at maths. Let me know in the comments if it's 100 years, <laughs> 100 years from now would be, I need to Google it, 2020 at 100, would that be it? Well, you see, this is, this is a problem, I don't even laugh at this because this is an issue I have with numbers, a proper block is awful. And I, I think this isn't a child because when I was, I don't know about you, but I was a child of the 80s and I, I was obviously brought up in England and we had our, times table rammed down our throats obviously you need to learn your times table but you would be called up in on the mat which is the mat that kids sit on for register and you would have to say your times tables out and anyway i used to struggle with it and i was berated by a teacher in the front of a class therefore now when i mention numbers i freeze and i go blank and it's all it has actually impeded me a lot so, find your calculator. But there's not one on. There should be one on here, shouldn't there? There's got to be a calculator on here. Let's tap in. Calculator. Oh, there is. There's got to be. There is. There used to be. There used to have a calculator on here. Where's it gone? This will teach me. Where's the calculator gone? Definitely. Had, tablets have calculators on. Anyway, 100 years from now, Whatever that is, so that would be, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, why is the calculator going to do on my head? What is this? Hmm, anyway. So, 100 years from now. It starts to rectify itself. Oh, well, Claire, thanks for that. It's already, you know what I say about this new earth? This new earth is already here within people. You can go out into the world, you can go walk down a street of 100 houses or 10 houses and each house will have a different reality in it. You get to choose what reality you get, if that makes sense. 
So physical new earth, where she settled into her new energies, isn't fully here yet, but new earth can be within you. So this is why, again, it's important to do all this healing stuff. It's important to face your shadow. What was the first card she gave us now? Let's look back. What was the first card? You see, if I'm looking at these cards through different eyes. Make a choice. Choices. Connect with the land. Custodian. Take action. She was trying to say something and tell us something right from the beginning. Express your heart. That was out as well. Channel your anger. Trials. We're now learning how to channel our anger by being put through many different trials. And I don't mean court trials. You're going to get through those as well, like Amber. But we're being put through many of life's trials. Ooh, I like this. Hmm. Honour your grief, my lost love. Honouring your grief, healing, recovering, not jumping from one bed straight to the other, which people do. Jumping from one relationship straight into another without even, you know, saying goodbye to the last one. And then wonder why they're going to be tormented, why they can't get the inner peace. Final message is Barbara Hutton for this video. Channel your anger trials. Step up, Lady of Fire. So learning to channel our anger. Because at the minute we don't know how to channel our anger, we either hold it in and it causes illness or we just blast it out everywhere and it causes more destruction. So one of the reasons why we're going through so many trials at the minute is to learn how to channel our anger and to not blow. Final messages from this deck, which is the Creative Consciousness Healing Deck. Ooh. Nourish. Feeding the sweet animal of your body. The soul. Feeding the sweet animal of your body. You think about you think about anorexia. You're starving yourself. You're starving yourself of nutrients, of food, of sustenance. You're starving your soul. So we need to stop starving ourselves. Pink fruit, realising your dreams. Find out what your dreams are and follow them. Make proactive steps to follow them. If you know you're caught up in a whirlwind, like she was, like Amber was, was, is, who knows? Get yourself out of it. And you can. Again, we like to think that we can't, that the world is going against us and that there's nothing we can do. But there's always something that we can do. Horsetail, patience and grace. Having patience and grace in our life. I want it now. I'm manifesting it. I want it now. And if I don't get it, you see, that's narcissistic as well. If I don't get it now, I'm going to stand on someone to get it. But this is about learning patience and grace. The power of patience and grace in a world where at the minute there's very little of it. Hold your vision. Fixed moon. Hold your vision. Meditate and contemplate. They're very really simple, simple messages. Stepping out of victim. No more. Honestly, life is going to get really difficult until we can step fully out of the victim mode. We're going to get keep getting thrown into that energy until we go, no, stop, 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 stop. No more. No more drama. None of it. Because all this drama is coming from within us. It's coming from, as you say, it's coming from within us. And then it pulls in the external drama. So get that. The internal drama comes out 
and it pulls in the external drama. So, one hour, 24 minutes. Thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed this video and would like to watch more channeling content, please go to my playlist on here where there are other people that we have channeled on here. If you would like to join our next group healing, which is recovery after narcissistic abuse, or after finding out you've got a form of narcissism, the next group healing is about that. It is on the 26th and the 27th of October 2023. It is £22 for two days distance channeled healing. To take part in that in that group healing, you there are no links, no courses, you don't have to show up, you don't have to go anywhere, you just go about your day as normal and I will send you the distance channeled healing. They are really, really successful and they are helping a lot of people and there is a great big bunch of feedback coming in from those group healings of how they have helped to transform people's lives. To take part, you go to the description box beneath this video or the com pinned comment and you just have to scroll down a bit where it says next group healing. There's another video you can watch for more information. There's also the website which takes you straight to the group healing link. You pay your money and I get your name. Your name's put on the grid. If you want a one-to-one -one session with me, my website is there also. Scroll down a little bit more. If you want to join me on Instagram, Healing for Ascension, Facebook, Healing for Ascension, my threads, TikTok, I think that's it now, on, on different Instagram accounts I've got. My main social media, though, is Healing for Ascension on Instagram and Facebook and Claire Thacker on TikTok. It's all there. I do short videos on TikTok and Instagram. It's all there. All my social media content is below. So, thanks for watching. Love to all. Like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. I'm tired now. Bye.